Hey everyone, my name's Chris Thornton and this is my week six assignment for the Introduction to Music Production course on Coursera.org run by Berklee College of Music. I'm going to be looking at the graphical interfaces of four different synthesizers, showing you where the oscillator, filter, the amplifier in its envelope and the LFO are on each one of those different synths. And that's quite a lot to get through in five minutes, so I'm going to be going very quickly. Sorry that I can't go into more detail, but I could literally spend hours on this. There is a lot there, but I really encourage you to play around with these different synths which I'm showing you. They're all freely available. Um, there is a lot of fun to be had. Okay, let's get on with things. Uh, first up, I've programmed in a very simple uh, bit of MIDI in here. Nothing very exciting, and that's just running through this piano plugin at the moment, but that's not what we're going to look at. We're going to look at these different synthesizers. The first one I want to look at is Alpha. Uh, this is the computer music version of Alpha. It came free on the cover of Computer Music Magazine, and so same piece of MIDI is controlling this. We've got two oscillators here. Uh, we've got a filter just there and envelope settings for the filter. We've got an amplifier here and envelope settings for that amplifier. And we've got an LFO just there. A um, couple of things to note. It's actually a pair of oscillators in here. So one's a sine, one's a square. And you can vary how much stop that playing. You can vary how much each one of those is contributing to the signal which then goes through your filter and amplifier and is uh, modulated by the LFO. Okay, next uh, I want to look at this one which is called Tal Baseline. This is an emulator of the old Roland SH-101. Uh, loads and loads of fun settings, some really good bass sounds in here. If we just start that going. This is just the basic setting. And again, you hear that same piece of music which I programmed in playing. It's a little bit more difficult to see where everything is on here, but this section here, source mixture, actually that's your oscillator that you're starting with. It then goes through the filter here and through these two sections, which are the amplifier and the envelope with A, D, S and R, those familiar letters up at the top there. And then finally, this section, modulator and VCO, working together, there are, are actually the low frequency oscillator. Whenever you're using any of these, by the way, do have a look up here. There are loads and loads and loads of, of presets. This one only has, ooh, what, about 20 or so. Most of them have 40, 50. Some of them have hundreds of different presets. Find the one which is closest to what you're looking for. Then just tweak that until you're happy with the sound. Uh, one last thing to be aware of on this one. It's got an arpeggiator. I love that. Okay, next one. This is Dominator. Lots and lots and lots to go out on this. It's quite a calming pad there. We've actually got three oscillators and various controls for those oscillators. And then we've got a mixer controlling how much each one of those oscillators contributes to the mix. Uh, that then goes through a pair of filters down here. So we've got our first filter, and then that is possibly routed through this shaping. You can change which way the routing goes down here. And so you can add a little bit of extra drive and then put through another filter possibly there if you want to. And then that's got its own envelope, and then that goes uh, off to the amplifier up here, again with a Tacti K sustain release. And then we've got an LFO down here as well, and notice we've also got a chorus effect there too. Again, Loads and loads and loads and loads of different presets. It's a lovely one, is Dominator. Okay, finally, Genesis. Fairly complicated looking one, this, but actually, it's not that difficult once you know where you're looking for things. Over here are your oscillators. Uh, then just below that, your filters. And then over here, we've got the amplifier and the envelope settings for those amplifiers. And finally, LFOs up here, plus some delay effects as well. And again, loads and loads of different presets. Okay, that's about all we've got time for. I feel like I've rushed quite a lot, but of course we were running up against that five minute time limit. Uh, very best of luck everyone in the final exam, and I hope to hear music from you in the future.